Hello, my name is Madame Dubesco, and I work at the child pornography shop. <laughs> <laughs> really? You had to yeah. do that, didn't you, Jack? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, so this is literally just a very, very, very quick 15-minute podcast, which me and Jack are going to do. Unfortunately, all you're going to see is uh, black screens, because this is more of a listening Test. thing, you know, while you play some Minecraft or something, you know? Or eat your face, or... Or eat your face, you know? Or eat somebody, like a cannibal. Or That's or nice. eat your mother, you know? Ooh, ooh, don't say that about your mum. You horrible huh? My mum? You just said you would eat your mother. Look, Jack, I never said I would eat my mother. I just advised... The listeners to eat their mother. Well, I'm sure we can all agree you're slightly creepy. <laughs> um, well, I really don't know what we should talk about, do you? Well, let's just talk about normal stuff. Anyway, yeah. I'm on a faction server right now. He is on a faction server right now. And I'm about to break into their base, Adam. And I he is s- about to break into their base, me. Yep, you're repeating everything I say. Uh, yep, I'm repeating everything he started? says. Huh? Oh yeah, about primary schools. You yeah. had like a golden time thing and everything. Oh you yeah, said... we we used to have like this weird golden time thing and we had like a traffic light system. Really confusing, but in golden time you got to do literally whatever you wanted, except for kick people, you know. Yeah. Like that, literally, if you kicked someone, right, you know, you're following me on this, Jack? Yep. Okay, if you kicked someone, and then like 30 seconds later you kicked him again, my school class that as bullying. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and literally, the only punishment they had, right, you know, they didn't have the tensions. You literally really? just had to stay in for one break, that was it. We had, uh, what was it called, timeouts. Timeouts. Which was basically just a detention. Sit on the naughty step now. No, it wasn't. It was go down to the principal's office and sit in his office whilst he grilled you. Uh... You see, my my head teacher, I I once gave two quid to, right? Oh, at the age of five, I'm pretty sure that was a nice <laughs> and achievement. And ever since then, I could have been as naughty as I wanted and she would have lost to say, let me off. Oh, he's that kid that gave me that two quid one time so I could buy me a faggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, I love that kid. My primary school. Yeah, no, at my primary school, How this is years and years ago now, probably about a million years. Uh, What was it? Uh, Yeah, it was curriculum, uh, what is it, the curriculum, which is what each school had to follow, uh, Golden Time was actually part of that, wasn't it? Yeah. Each school had to have a Golden Time, as long as it was a non-private school or an academy. Mm. Oh, that TNT went miles away. Um, but anyway, at my school, <laughs> how it works is that there was a Golden Time, and each time you were naughty, you got, like, five minutes off or 15 minutes off, depending on what you did. So it was, uh, let's say, you swore you'd get ten minutes off, or if you um, punch someone, you get 20 minutes off or something like that. Yeah. Or if you were talking in class, you got, like, five minutes off. Uh, this... Talking in class? What if it was, a, like, a collaborative class? Well, then you're allowed to do that. Like, I mean, but talk, 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 talk to each other. Just be aware, if you do, <laughs> five minutes off every word you say. No, actually, one of our teachers sounds a bit like that. <laughs> no, but I mean for golden time, let me explain. Yeah, go, go uh, if you were talking whilst the teacher was talking and whilst another person was talking, you got it. Actually, my primary school was very nice. I liked it most of the time, actually. Uh, there were some times that you just didn't want to go in. I did magic tricks when I was younger. I did for quite a while, right up until a few years ago. How long? A couple of years ago. Yeah, That's and then you stopped. was always coming into my school with a deck of cards. Well, it was a nice fancy thing shuffling. to mess with. I can still shuffle. Always back. trying to flick a card. You know, you should be like Dynamo. He I smashed a can. wine glass with a card. Wine glass. Wine glass. You know, when, when you were like... 
I don't know, eight. Did you ever, like, use improper English, you know? Like, I broken that glass. Alden. Yeah? The TNT just disappeared. The TNT I was using literally just disappeared in the cannon. <laughs> nice. Well... It's magic, as we were talking about magic. Magic TNT, magic TNT, everybody. Added to Minecraft. Yeah. As of 1.8. I really miss those, like, pistons, which, you, which could chuck any block which followed physics yeah. right up into the air. Even TNT. Even TNT. <sighs> well, those were the old pistons, and then they changed them in 1.8 beta. Yeah. The good old days. Back when I was just a noob. <laughs> Building dirt huts. Now I'm on a <sighs> faction server, breaking into someone's house to steal their dirt. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> this, is, this is the evolution of Minecraft. First, you start off collecting your own dirt to build a dirt hut. After many, many, many hours of playing, usually about two years, you eventually figure out that if you go to someone else's hut and steal their dirt with a cannon, it's much easier <laughs> and takes less effort. That's have, what it's got to. Have you ever had, like, a really random moment at primary school? Oh, yeah, I'll explain about the first person. <laughs> the first... And the last person, because afterwards I was severely traumatised. I'm not sure if I ever told my mum this, but there was this one kid, and we were walking, I was walking down the pathway, and by the pathway there was a hill. Like, um, it's hard to imagine. Uh, a hill, sort of, to the side of the path. I shall and try and find an image and show it on the side of the path, and there was some kid who decided it would be a great idea to run full long down it. I was apparently standing in front of him. I didn't notice this. He was off to my right. Uh, and then my friend, called Kieran Farley, called me over, so I ran up to him, at which point the kid who was behind me apparently ran, tripped, fell, and scraped along all his arms and scraped all the horrible skin off and got horrible scrapes and, you know, had to go to the hospital and everything. <laughs> which isn't nice, come to think of it. But then, apparently, a few days later, when he was back in school, I was just walking along, this is little nine-year-old me, and then he comes up and kicks me really hard in the butt. <laughs> and then I was super distraught and upset, because I didn't know why, and I was crying, and I got the teacher called Mrs. Caveni, such a weird name, she wasn't actually the teacher, and then everyone was saying that's because it was my fault that he fell over. Are you following with the story? Yeah. Uh, because he fell over, and there was blood all up his arms and things, and eventually, Mrs. Caveni got the kid in, and he said it was my fault, because I moved out of the way, and if I hadn't, he would have fallen into me, and would have been fine. Did uh, the which... teacher fall for that? No. <laughs> Brum bum, you know, pun. Yeah, no. yeah, oh right, <sighs> shut up. <laughs> why do I have friends? <laughs> why are you my friend? I this is know. why we're friends. Bad puns. That's yeah. the one thing we have in common. Uh, so, <laughs> that was probably the most random thing that ever happened to me at primary school. Oh my god. One more shot, Alden, and I'm in this base. Yeah! Seriously, it's in the right place. I've said this like a million times so far, but this time I'm serious. Well, I'm serious uh, do you know time. what my most random moment was? What, what was it? Well, my most random primary school moment, you know, I was in... The, well, there's actually two. The first one, right, was me in, like, this hedge, which, uh... Okay, I'm imagining little baby Alden, nine years old. <laughs> I, I was in a hedge, which we all classed I'm as, not sure why you're in a hedge. The school, the school transformed it into a base, because it's, like hollow inside oh, there's well, just a nice. la layer of leaves around the outside and they just like cut holes around the edges you know as if they were entrances anyway mm. i was in there and my I'm friends in Alden. i'm in the base yeah cut breaking news and, jack's broken and in. my Getting friends right yes let's call them friends more like okay. mates but whatever more like um, acquaintances they was all like 
excavating the area, you know, like, with sticks digging up the mud. Right, there was one guy called Art, right? Art, what a lovely name. Bit of a squeaker, he was. <laughs> bit of a squeaker, he was. Not anymore, though. Squeaked about a bit. Not anymore. Not anymore, okay. Anyway. I'm imagining He, he had, like, a stick in the shape of a pickaxe, right? This is like your earliest memories of anything yeah. to do with Minecraft. You can see you can see where this is going, right? It was it was a stick in the shape of a pickaxe, right? Like a, like a Minecraft this. wooden pickaxe. Anyway, what happened, right, was some random kid snapped it in half and chucked it over the fence, right? And then some random dog took it. He burst <laughs> he burst into tears, right? Oh, my stick. And he he then refused to do anything without his axe. So now every time he passes us, like when we see him every odd occasion, we go, "Where's my axe?" You know, cause that's that, horrible. You're that, horrible. That's what he used to say. It's like a running joke between us now. And then he's like, "Ha ha! I remember that time when that dog took my stick in the shape of an axe." I'm sorry. That, Unfortunately, that's... the the next day, right. That dog owner came with a complaint to the school, right? That the dog choked to death but, on the stick. No, ser- seriously, this this is no choking matter. It's choking matter. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> anyway, choking. anyway, what happened was, um, he just so happened to be digging in some cat poo, right? <laughs> Which is why the dog took the stick. <laughs> the dog took the stick but it, because it had some cat poo on there, right? <laughs> and it took it away, right? And the, own, the owner of the dog came to a complaint to the school because the dog became ill. <laughs> because it had eaten the cat poo. And it died the day after, <laughs> right? No, seriously, it died the day after because it ate some cat poo, which... <laughs> Art had chucked us. Well, not Art, but some random other guy, which was blamed on me, chucked a stick over the fence, which then their dog decided to take and chew the hell out of the end which we had been digging with. And, um. Yeah, the dog died. School oh, got sued. What, no. Really? I was kind. I was kind of blamed for it, and then they realised no, it wasn't me because I was nowhere near them at the time. And yeah. that's the first ever random moment we ever had at that school. That was just really weird. <laughs> yeah. The first ever weird moment. The next moment was even weirder. Okay, we we've both had two stories so far. Have we? Yeah, I had two stories about the uh, kick up the bum and the golden time. Mm, yeah. Oh, so have you. Okay. Anyway, this one, right, is about me and my dog, right, with my mum. Oh, you trigger. Trigger the dog. Yeah, trigger my dog. Anyway. Trigger the dog, kids. My, I had just got into school, right? Um, My mum always used to go up to the school with me on, like, a Friday to take the dog for a walk at the same time. Yeah. Like, oh, why are you even walking by me? Anyway. <laughs> why are you even walking by me? <laughs> like, get out of oh. my face, please. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, it. she says goodbye, right? And I need spud. Uh, on her way back, right, at the school we had the field, but then there was, like, a cordoned-off area to the right, which only certain people t- could go in because it was very dangerous, apparently, even though it only had a pond in it. You know? <laughs> dangerous field. Field yeah. of death. Uh, apparently no, it was dangerous no. because it had about five stinging nettles in there, <laughs> and the rest of the school was littered of the stings. Anyway, um, what happened was, my dog, like, you know, it likes chasing rabbits because... I don't it's know a why. Dog. It yeah, it's a dog. Anyway, on the way back, my mum, right, let the dog off the lead to have a run the, to have the, to time. have a run around the field, right? Yeah. Going past some random dog diarrhea which looked more like human diarrhea. Or <laughs> why human do I sick. Need to know this? Anyway, an important part it, it ignore, yeah, this isn't important this bit. Anyway, 
The dog managed to find a rabbit hole by the fence, right? Squeezed through it under the fence and actually went into that cordoned off area, right? Stinging his nose on the way. Ah, oh, poor puppy. Yeah, he was alright though. He's immune to it. Seriously, He's immune you... to it. No, really, you could chuck him in a bush of stinging nettles and he, he wouldn't come out harmed. As we found out once before by some random guy who came up with his dog and chased him into a pile of stinging nettles. Anyway, oh. uh, what happened was he went Poor in, doggy. right, and then my mum went round and, you know, as everyone in the... S- all the teachers in the school, except for the caretaker, right, knew her, right? Yeah. Of course, it was during school hours and only school students and teachers are allowed in there at school oh, hours. So your mum was told and that. My, and my mum wasn't aware of that. So she came in, got the dog, right, and on her way out, the caretakers then, like, excuse me, you need to be escorted off of these premises as you're not allowed on here at, during school hours. And she's like, but I was getting the dog. And then they're like, oh, no excuses. And then, just, like, she just gets escorted off of the head teacher, who's like, oh, hello there. You know? Hi. Hi, Julia. Oh, hi. I remember you. You're that lady. You're yeah, that random that lady one. who said hi to me once. <laughs> anyway. So oh, she dear, came out, great. and then she's like, no, oh, dear, what the hell have I just done? She goes round the corner, and her friend, who takes the dog out around about the same time, is laughing their head off. How nice. At her, because she got escorted off the premises. Funny. It is actually a little bit, just saying. No, even I found it funny. Even she found it funny at the way they were saying it. Oh, I found some lava, Alden. Nice! Yeah, so close. Anyway, um, that, that's about the 15-minute mark. Well, it's more like 20 now. But... Well, let's continue on. Let's continue yeah. on as long as we can speak. So. I'm going to split this up into two episodes. Okay, yeah. what next? So I shall see you all for the next part where we will be talking about something different. Yeah? Yeah. Goodbye.